What's up guys? Back with another Fun Fact Friday. This one has a lot of memories specifically with me growing up because I grew up in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, close to Golden. And I remember back in the day, we'd go up to the Buffalo Bill Museum up on Lookout Mountain, I think on a yearly basis. And it's really been fun just to kind of go back and learn a little bit more about this again and stirs up some memories from uh, some of those field trips back in the day. So again, today I just wanna share with you guys a little bit about Buffalo Bill, one of the most famous longtime uh, residents back in the day of Denver, Colorado, and specifically Golden. So Buffalo Bill, he was also known as William Frederick Cody. He's a very famous figure in the American West in the late 19th century. So he was born in Iowa in 1846, and he moved to Kansas as a child, began working as a hunter and a scout for the U.S. Army during the Indian Wars. And then by the 1870s, he had really become famous for his hunting and his scouting skills. Then in 1883, he established the Buffalo Bills Wild West Show. And that featured a cast of cowboys, Native Americans, and buffalo hunters, and they performed reenactments of Western frontier life. And that show toured across the United States and Europe. It was wildly, wildly popular among audiences of all ages. It was a huge hit. And Cody's show had several performances in Colorado. It was definitely one of the most popular cities that they traveled to. And he himself, Cody, he was actually considered a hero by many in Colorado. And he was admired by his, um, just his representation of the American West. So he was definitely somebody that everybody looked up to, not just for his Buffalo Bill show, but also just for his hunting and his scouting skills. He also actually had a ranch in Colorado where he would occasionally return to and stay. So he did have property in Colorado as well. And in addition to the Wild West show, he also was an author, he was an actor and a businessman. He wrote several books about his life and experiences in the West, and he appeared in a lot of Hollywood films even. He died in 1917 at the age of 71. He's actually buried at Lookout Mountain in Golden, Colorado, where his grave is still a very popular tourist attraction today. So that was one of the, the attractions that we would always go and see on our field trips back in the day. So um, I'm sharing another similar Fact Friday video about Annie Oakley, who also was a big part of the Wild West show. So don't, you don't wanna miss that one either. Look forward to talking to you guys next week for another Fun Fact Friday. Have a good week.